Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install ISP config on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. We will use ISP config auto installer script for this installation. Hopefully we can complete the setup within 10 minutes. ISP config is very popular and free hosting panel. It is well known for its stability and rich features. I have been using it for more than 13 years now and hosted thousands of customers' websites and emails without any issue. It is one of the best free alternative to any commercial hosting panel, you can say. For your web and email hosting, you can rely on it. Iceperconfig is on the market for almost two decades now, so it is very mature and trustworthy. If you are setting up a hosting environment for your personal use or for the business, Iceperconfig will allow you to customize the setup based on your needs. Now, I will give you a brief explanation about how you can customize the setup. For your better understanding about the ISP config setup and deployment options, I will recommend you to read this guide on this topic. I have elaborately described here with multiple scenarios how you can deploy ISP config for different environments. You can see here ISP config supports two type of installation. First one is the single server installation and another is the multi server installation. In single server mode, you can install it for all type of hosting services, like for web hosting, email hosting, DNS, database, everything you can install on the same node. And this is called a complete setup on a single server. Or if you want to manage only web hosting or email hosting from a single node, you can do that also. In that case, you have to instruct the auto installer to install specific service only. I have described all these different installation scenarios and explain the auto installer options to perform this kind of setup. And in multi server mode, you can separate the hosting services. You can choose a dedicated node for each service so that you can manage your web hosting server or email hosting server separately. And the fun thing is you can manage all your servers from a single interface. That's a great advantage. If your hosting environment are even bigger, and you want to provide high availability and fault tolerance also for the hosting services, you can extend the multi-server environment by configuring redundant servers for each services. So these are the beauty of ISP config. You can configure it based on your business requirement. I hope this guide will help you to understand better about the ISP config installation scenarios. In this video, I will guide you through a complete installation on a single server. I have provided step-by-step -step instruction here I will follow this guide as is. For the multi-server setup, you can follow their official guide from this link. After reading the guide, if you have any questions or doubts, please let me know on the comment. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now let's start the installation. For today's installation, I will be using a Valtor VPS and I have logged into my account. Now let's deploy a VPS, click deploy server. Let's choose Cloud Compute Shared CPU, New York Data Center, and the operating system must be 24.04. For today's demo, two CPU with two GB RAM will be okay. And we don't need the auto backup and IPv6 also. Now provide the VPS hostname. Click deploy now. It will take some time to fully populate the server. So the server is running. Let's copy the IP and create a host record for this server. Server name will be ISP and this is the IP. We are not using the proxy. Click save. Let's check the name resolution. Our server must be found from the internet. So we are checking the A record. It shows the IP. So we are good to go. Now let's log into the systems console. I am using mobile XTERM software for the terminal access. Now let's create a SSS session. the terminal settings increase the font size and the font color if we set green it will look cool click OK 
okay it is asking for the password let's copy the password from here okay so we are logged in first of all let's check the operating system version it should be 24.04 .04. okay and we need to check our host name and the fqdn also okay that is good dns domain name should be mail server guru.com okay now let's go to our blog we will follow from there so here is the step-by-step -step installation guide we must meet the prerequisites so we logged in as root then the hostname setting is okay we can follow from step three let's apt update and upgrade our system this is always recommended okay so the update and upgrade is finished now we can run the simple auto installer we will use the default installation options so it will install on apache and if you want to use the nginx instead of the apache then we need to copy this one so we are copying the first one so it will check first the php options and it will install the prerequisites i will pause the video if the screen takes long time to update then i will come back to you when it is finished it says the warning so we need to type yes to proceed with the installation I have provided these installation logs as screenshots on the blog so you can see here that what the installation will show you so you can read it uh, before the installation now it is installing all the PHP packages okay the installation is proceeding again after quite some time because our CPU configuration is very low here only uh, two CPU we have selected now it's installing the ISP config so it is almost finished okay so our installation is finished and it is showing the ISP config admin password and the MySQL root password we need to copy this and one warning you can see that we have to delete this file because this file contains the passwords so we need to remove this immediately now let's log into the system now the login page appears now let's copy the password from here click admin the password so this is the isp config dashboard and it says to support the isp config project and to get the manual so if you need the manual you can purchase from them as it is an open source project we should cooperate with the project now first of all we need to go to tools and on the user settings we need to provide our own password the default password should be changed so it is always better to secure the login we need to change the password immediately and on the system we need to enable the firewall by default the isp config firewall is not enabled so we can click the add firewall rule and it shows all the service ports that are installed on the system so if you click save then it will configure the ip table firewall or efw firewall on the system so the firewall is configured now if we go to the cli and check the EFW status then you can see all the ports are allowed here okay so we are done installing the isp config on ubuntu 24.04 lts and if you want to learn more about the isp config you can visit my channel and here you will find the isp config tutorial playlist you can see the videos from here so this is it for today thank you for being with me
I'll see you on the next video. Bye.